Hey, what's going on guys? Danny from dannycarpenter.com today doing a video. Um, I'm on the road right now, as you can tell, I'm sure. Um, not so excited about that part. Here's what's going on, guys. Here's what's on my mind. Uh, you know, ideas used to be a dime a dozen. They went on sale about 200 years ago. They're now a dime for two dozen. There's nothing special about a good idea, particularly a good business idea. I talk to people all the time, oh man, listen to this, this is my new concept, this is my new idea, um, here's what I was thinking, like, this is this, wouldn't this be a cool app, like, yeah, there is, I mean, literally, good ideas to be had all over the place, uh, I give them away freely all the time, because they're cheap, a good idea, you'll get another one in 20 minutes, um, or you'll hear another one, or you'll go to, you know, start up weekend or whatever and and they're just all over the place a good idea is not special anymore get it in your head what is more important is execution and for every good idea uh, there's probably well I should say for every good idea that gets actually brought into life there's probably 400 500 maybe that never that die on the vine they, they go to the graveyard of other good business ideas um, because execution is hard. Execution, actually putting things into motion, takes a very certain skill set that I don't feel like a lot of people are born with and uh, only a handful of people really have, have um, come to master with any degree of regularity. Uh, now this isn't saying that some, you know, some people are going to get lucky every once in a while. Maybe there's like Joe Plummer who decides to start a plumbing business and happens to be in the right time in the right place. Boom. He makes it, quote unquote. But to be able to actually purposefully, regularly bring good ideas to life takes a very certain skill set. I'm not saying that I have it right now. In fact, I don't think that I do. Uh, or I wouldn't be driving right now to a job to go clock in. Um, but here's what I've learned about it. Three things. One, you need a good team. Just like in Ocean's Eleven, Danny Ocean was not going around and doing everything for that heist himself. Neither was Rusty, Brad Pitt. Those guys had an amazing team. They had the grease guy. They had the munitions guy. They had the, um, you know, the, the like, two Mormon twins. They had the, um, the financial guy. They had... You know, everybody kind of had their own little job and thing that they were good at. They realized that and they tapped into the power of that really good all-star dream team to actually bring it all to life. Okay? Number two, you have to spend money. I'm learning that there's just no way around it. I've always known that, obviously. But sometimes you just try to do things on the cheap too much and it comes at the expense of not executing. It takes longer. Uh, things don't happen as well. Um... They don't happen as fast, so you, you just you don't want to you don't want to wait two years to get a job done by some programmer in India if you know ten thousand to five thousand dollars more, you know a thousand dollars more, two thousand dollars whatever it is could have gotten you the job two in two months with an American programmer or something like that. Um, so that's the second concept. The third concept, the last thing that I'll say today is. You gotta be comfortable with eternal beta. Think eternal beta on your websites and, and on your other projects too. I mean, even offline systems, you gotta think of them as always just until we revise this again. You should plan on revising things every six months. Okay, revise the design, revise the revise the system, revise the inventory, whatever it is. Not that you want to like make more work for yourself, but you have to become comfortable with the concept that things are not going to be perfect. If you are trying to make something perfect, you'll never release it. You're going to sit on it forever. It's going to go to the graveyard of good business ideas that I uh, should probably like trademark or something because I think that's a good phrase. But um, that's the simple truth, guys. If you're not comfortable putting something out that's a little bit sloppy that's a little bit ugly it's not it's never gonna happen you have to be able to you got to give yourself the permission to put your ideas out before they're perfect all right so that's what I got for you guys today I hope the audio is not um, killing you too much to watch uh, the shaky footage 
and uh, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know what your guys' experiences have been with these exact concepts. See you guys.